Hooray, hooray. We're on our way. <laughs> our Disney vacation starts, starts today. today. Yay! going to be a long time. Unfortunately, we are people of our word. We had all of the intentions to travel more often, but... And we know about you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> I promise you folks, we have every intention of doing some more you know, how-to and tip videos, and I've, I've even got a, another one in mind. I just haven't had time to shoot at home. Because being wage slaves, folks, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but, we but promise we're trying. Between weather and other you know, circumstances, we just don't always get things the way we want them. But doggone it, we're getting it down. We're going to Disney World. Yay! So we're stopping tonight a little bit halfway because, you know, we're, we're not used to driving eight, yeah, you ten road, hours You road warriors that can do nine, ten hours a day, <laughs> I, we, we can't do it. <laughs> we're, we're weekend warriors. We don't normally travel that far in a day. But we are stopping at the Jacksonville St. Mary's. Stay away uh, just to have a little rest for the night and then we'll travel the rest of the way to check in at Fort Wilderness tomorrow. Because everybody's got to do it. You got an RV, you got to go to Fort Wilderness. You got to do it. Right now, Disney World is celebrating their 50th anniversary and it will probably be slam packed, but we're still going. Something else is associated <laughs> with five months. Yes, Disney World opened the same year of the Alice Born. So I have always had a bucket list to go to Disney World to celebrate my 50th with their 50th. Golden years. Going. Golden years. And he's Bum, never been. So he has no idea what to expect. And I hope he loves it as I much as I do. I'm going to weirdo that gets down there and just hates it. But he, you know, the crowds may completely turn him off because it is supposed to be packed. So stick around, you'll see what we get into.
and a quick and wet, and here we are. And here we are, and it's wet. Uh, we, you know, we can't camp, it doesn't rain. It's Florida, it's gonna rain. It's raining. Drizzling, thankfully, not raining, but trying to get all this done so I can get inside before it actually does rain. Uh, anyway, here we are. This is the Jacksonville North St. Mary's KOA. We're still on the Georgia side of the line. We're on Florida yet. Uh, pull through. This is what we got. This is site C1. Uh, it's an overnight stop. Uh, I debated about even unhitching. Let me show you. But we decided to unhitch because why not? I mean, we got here. What time is it? It is a little bit after 3, so actually we made a little bit better time than I thought we would, so we got the extra time. I went ahead and unhitched. Um, it is a full hookup site. I'm sorry. I don't mean to yank you around, but for some reason, the sewer is way up here, so um, I guess we're just going to take our waste with us on to Fort Wilderness. <laughs> uh, but power and water. I believe that's the lowest water post I've ever seen in my life. I had to bendy booty get him connected, but it's connected. Uh, I already got rain running off. Um, place looks fairly nice for a KOA. You know, some KOAs are basically just parking lots. And I mean, yeah, everything is, let me give you a look around. Everything's kind of close together, but it's seems to be clean and in decent shape. Um, they're doing some remodeling on the, uh, the, the office, the restrooms in the office. And we were told that these restrooms are to be remodeled next. So uh, I guess this place might even get nicer. Oh, hey, speaking of, well, I was knocking the water. I did notice some hours too. This is the neighbors. They give us the little Y valves, the splitters. Um, you know, I always bring my own, but I didn't have to. And I mean, I didn't worry about even hooking up hours because it's overnight. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's an overnight stop. Uh, this is what you came to see anyway. You came to see Fort Wilderness. So, um, go inside. I'm going to find something to eat and we're going to call it a night. I'm going to offload footage. We'll get up in the morning. We will head past Jacksonville on to Orlando. And if we stop and do anything, we'll let you know about it. But if nothing else, you'll see the drive. So, see you in the morning. Top of a Sunday morning to you. We're going to take advantage of KOA's generous offer of some free breakfast That's right. before we hit the road. It's, it's not at the midpoint of the sky like it usually is when we first walk out the door in the mornings, almost afternoon. <laughs> Ooh, good night. <clears throat> Same, same thing, please. Waffles? Yep. Right. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, don't forget your forks. How's the coffee? Have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it yet. Uh, Not to rush it. I'm trying to make sure I just don't kill you. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay. For free. <laughs> yes. Three ninety nine. Okay. Fierce competition too, yeah. <laughs> you know I have never played Connect Four in my life. Oh my god. That I can remember. That's just sad. <laughs> a deprived childhood. Well, this free breakfast scope wasn't too bad. That'll keep us alive for a couple hours, and that's the point. And they had coffee, so I can survive now. Yeah. All right, let's break it down and 
move on down the road. We're about two hours and change away from another first time experience. Another RVer's rite of passage. Yes. You'll see when we get there. Probably guessed it. It's Bucky's. We're finally at a Bucky's. Yes. I feel like we're the last people with an RV on Earth to finally get into Bucky's. <laughs> Even people I know that don't have RVs have been to Bucky's. That's what this is our first. Daytona Beach Bucky's. All right, here we go. Let's go see what Disneyland for convenience stores is all about. <laughs> Isis, I love Isis. Flavors I've never heard of before. Classic cane. Real sugar. Like, what are they using the other stuff? Not real sugar. <laughs> Great, just brings all the diabetes faster. Frozen Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Pina colada, icy. And lemonade. Cherry bobbing. Ooh, hot candy. That's good. It's mind blowing. <laughs> Brisket. <laughs> uh, I'm for the brisket. Okay, thus ends <laughs> our first experience at the Disneyland, Disney World no. amusement park. Daytona Beach. Of convenience stores, yes. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, Bucky's <laughs> at Daytona Beach during spring, spring break, break slash senior week. Woo, boy. Talk about a madhouse. Yes. Still great, but. It's like Walmart at Christmas. I look forward to the next time <laughs> when it's not Daytona Beach and not Spring Break Singway. But yeah, that was a blast. Uh, now comes the fun part, trying to get out of here. Yeah. Because, as you can see, it's going to be a challenge. How's your sandwich? Thank God for dead cows. <clears throat> <laughs> mm. nah, Man, nah. That is good. Chopped brisket sandwich from Bucky. And here we are. 
finally. <laughs> the happiest place on earth is not meant for backing up a camper. But we won't get into that just yet. <laughs> and here we are. This is site 3, 324. 324, 300 loop. Um, we'll give you the quick walk around. Uh, let me step back a little bit so you can see. As you would expect, pavement everywhere. Um, lovely shade. Let's, let's, let's do positives first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lovely shade. Lots of shade. Good pavement. Fine quality gravel. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's not. I mean, I'm serious. It's not. Yeah. Some gravel is dirty and different. Yeah, that, yeah. That, it's nice, smooth, even gravel. It's not a wood. It's not a concrete picnic table. We could adjust. <laughs> we could adjust that to our liking. That was a good thing. Back in. <laughs> yeah. This barbecue grill here looks to be fairly clean. Of course, we won't use it, but if someone were so inclined, that looks fairly usable. Um, orange trees. <laughs> you know, we've got a couple of that's already decided to visit us. <laughs> uh, full hookups, as you'd expect. Uh, this brings us to my first concern. Uh, you see sewer and water are in what I would describe as very illogical positions. Um, I don't know, maybe this site is intended for something a lot shorter than us. Maybe they misinterpreted what we told them <laughs> that our length was. Um, I don't know. But uh, Not anything much bigger. I had to use both of my sewer hoses and both of my water hoses. Um, I am not nuts at all about this. I would love to have somebody explain to me the logic of having your water outlet, what's that, four inches off the ground? Um, I had to put the water filter midline between the hoses because of course I couldn't fit it on this end uh, nor could I fit our water pressure regulator so I'm just hoping that Disney's qual quality enough <laughs> that we can trust their water pressure and as much as we enjoy the shade and these lovely cypress trees um, and we weren't the only ones people we had a hell of a time getting into the spot because these trees these trees and that phone pedestal made it all but impossible to, to cut back in here at the proper angle um, and we weren't the only ones we witnessed these folks and these folks have similar problems and I even heard, I didn't see it because I was over behind, um, on the back end of the camper, but I heard these folks strike something <laughs> when they were trying to get in place. So, <sighs> Disney's either got to specify that these spots are for shorter campers or clear out some trees, yeah. um, in my humble opinion. Um, now, that being said, <laughs> what we've seen of the water pressure so far is good. I, I think there's cable TV, which we won't use probably. probably not. Yeah. Um, is there Wi-Fi here? I didn't even check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I haven't checked. See how that works yet? Yeah. Good but, it is yet. But, but um, we um, we are off to obtain our golf cart, and then meet our dinner reservation at 6:50 p.m. What time is? About 5:30. So we got to get get it cracking. Yeah, we got to crack it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call this a video, folks. Um, we this this video was. Though the beginning of the journey, the journey here, this is you know, more about the journey than the destination. Um, the next video will be about our adventures here. If that interests you, and I can understand why it might not, yeah. but if it does, in seven days you can see that video, and then the video after that will be about our voyage home, and we've got some stops and plans for that too. So you know, the the this series of videos is going to be about this entire spring break adventure and you can pick and choose which parts of it you want to share with us we'd love to have you fall three but and we understand and, yep. and if you don't we understand but we made this reservation a long time ago before all this political crap this crazy. political <laughs> crap that we are not going to get into here that's right 
If you ever want to come over to the house and have a beer with us, we'll get into it with you then. <laughs> but not here. So until then, keep, keep living and learning. learning.